This project is sponsored by PCBWay. Visit the PCBWay website and save big with a time limited promotion on Purple Solder Mask. From, from September 1st to September 30th you can get 10 pieces of 2 layer 100 on 100 mm PCBs in purple for only $5. PCBWay has all the services you need to create your project at the best price. Hello? A barograph is a self-recording barometer that continuously measures and records atmospheric pressure over time. It produces a graphical record of the pressure changes on a paper chart called barogram. The device presented in this project is an electronic barograph and the barogram is drawn on a LCD display instead of a, on a paper. The trend of barogram, rising, falling or steady pressure can provide insights into upcoming weather changes. A rapid drop in pressure, for example, may indicate an approaching storm. In one of my previous videos I presented a similar device but with fewer options and information and a smaller display. The device presented in this video is made in the style of commercial electronic barographs, which by the way are very expensive. The idea is taken from the ShemNet site, but I made significant changes and additions to the original code. The device is really simple to make and consists of only a few components. ESP32 development board. 128, uh, 128 on 64 LCD display with ST7920 driver chip, BME280 humidity pressure and temperature sensor module, and three buttons. For a more accurate display of temperature and humidity, it is desirable to place the sensor module uh, outside the housing or to make more ventilation holes. The contrast of the display is adjusted using a small trimmer potentiometer. As for the code, as I mentioned earlier, I made several changes and improvements. First, instead of millimeters of mercury, the value of atmospheric pressure is, is expressed in hectopascals, which is the official unit of measurement for atmospheric pressure. Next, instead of absolute atmospheric pressure, the relative atmospheric pressure is now calculated based on the altitude at which, uh, at which the device is located and which we need to enter in this line of the code, in my case 700 meters. Uh, next, three more screens have also been added to display the necessary parameters. Also, in case of accidental power failure, the graph is remembered and the next time the bar graph is turned on, we do not need to wait 24 hours for filled up. Let's take a look at how the barograph works. Immediately after turning on the device, a message appears on the screen to check the BME280 sensor. After that the main screen appears. At the beginning this field is empty. Next I will show you the screen looks after more than 3 hours or 24 hours so that I can present all the functions to you. Of course, the most important part here is the graph that shows the movement of atmospheric pressure over time. The entire graph is drawn with 128 vertical bars and the time covered by these bars is exactly 24 hours. Uh, this means that the value of atmospheric pressure on the graph is recorded every 11.25 minutes. On the right side are the latest measurements and on the far left are the oldest measurements, in this case minus 24 hours. Similarly in the middle are values of uh, from 12 hours ago. In this way we can visually see very quickly and accurately 
Vede da atmosferik prešah je strand of rising, steady or falling. Which are actually basic indicators necessary for predicting local weather. I should also mention that the vertical resolution of the graph is about 1 hectopascal, which is quite sufficient for this purpose. As you can see, there is still a lot of useful information on the screen. Here is the value of the current relative pressure, atmospheric pressure, with a precision of one decimal place expressed in hectopascals, then the relative humidity of the air expressed in percent, as well as the current temperature in degree Celsius. On the far right, in small numbers, is shown the numerical uh, value of the pressure trend in the last hour. Since the housing in which the device is built is from one of my previous projects, there are also three buttons on it. So I decided to give each of them a specific function. By pressing the top button, a special screen uh, opens on which the current values for the pressure, temperature and humidity of the air are displayed in uh, large characters. This screen remains active until we press one of of other two buttons, at which time uh, other appropriate information is displayed. But if we press the same button once more, we return to the main screen. The other two buttons function in the same way. The middle one displays the value of difference between the current pressure and uh, one from the one hour ago and the bottom button displays this difference from 3 hours ago. These two values are by definition the most important for short-term local weather forecasting. By default the values are refreshed every 11 minutes, but if we press a button the current values are taken so there may, uh, so there may be a minimal difference between different screens. And finally, a short conclusion. This is a modern digital interpretation of a traditional barograph that displays a real-time atmospheric pressure trends over a 24-hour period using a high-precision BME 280 sensor and ESP32 microcontroller board. The device features a 128-64 LCD display showing current barometric pressure, temperature, humidity, and a detailed pressure history graph make it perfect for weather monitoring and forecasting.